going to turkey for Thanksgiving. A little bit smaller than that one. It was hardly had any leftovers at all. So I think if they make turkeys like skinnier these days or something, I don't know. Yeah. Not like they used to do, so I wouldn't anticipate a ton of leftovers. Okay, whatever. I'm just letting you know they're, they're, they're skimpy. Okay. Hey, good morning. J.D. Niger, Word of Truth. Bible teaching with Jeff Deloach. Well, I'm welcome. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, the Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, Heavenly Father, bless the message. Give my brothers and sisters ears to hear and eyes to see spiritual things. See through the carnal. See through the see through the veil. The angels are close. The spiritual realm is behind a thin veil. If we could see through that veil, we'd be shocked, amazed, and in awe, astonished at what we'd see. We have faith that what's going on behind the veil is for our good. The Lord has protection for us. Keep that protection. Go in the hedge. We give thanks and praises every day for everything you've done, everything you're going to do, and everything you will do for us in the future. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We thank you. And then when we're done thanking you, we thank you some more. Because you are our God and we are your children. Amen. So, we're going to start moving again. Um, that last video, I just wanted to get some of that stuff that was on my mind out. You can ponder on that for yourselves. Um, so, we're in chapter 4 of the book of Acts of the Apostles. And... Um, uh, Peter was just talking about how the the world comes against the saints. Um, why do the heathens rage? Why do they plot? Why do these people plot against us? Even though it's going to be futile, they're going to lose in the end. They they can't see the end. They don't have the ability to comprehend that there's no way to overcome God, but and David, David was amazed by this thousands of years ago, or whenever it was that he was on the earth. Um, we know they toyed with our timelines, so um, if we could understand what, what time time we're in, it would really help. But it's not for us to know times and seasons. Um, the kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers assemble together against the Lord and against the Messiah. So they don't want to stay under the Israelite rule. They, they don't want to live right. They want to live the way they want to live. So they've <clears throat> lied, cheated, stole, deceived. They've created this grid world that we're in, this electric digital dust dust bag world that we're in that's really hard to understand and they they do that on purpose to keep us off balance and busy 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 so we can't actually sit here and go what the hell is going on together they keep us separated six distancing six feet distancing stay apart don't talk to each other put a mask on we, we're seeing it um ramp up because these are we're coming into the last days and the devil is anxious to mess with us because he knows he has a little, a little time and so he's busy. Um, it says, uh, for in fact the city of both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles assembled against the people of Israel and the holy servants of Jesus whom you anointed to do whatever your hand and your will had predestined to take place and now Lord consider their threats. And grant that your servants may speak your word with all boldness. So. <sighs> the understanding of a servant of God is not easy for most people. It's confusing. It sounds like gib gibberish. It, it doesn't register because we've been taken into such a low vibration. <clears throat> Our frequency is just jammed. And so, 
um, the song Jammin', Jammin', Ben Jammin', um, that's a song about my tribe, we're, we're, we're jamming their, their fucking transmissions now, and so if you're on this channel, you're slowly getting your antenna put back up, and you're getting these, these higher frequency downloads, and that's what, <clears throat> that's what Paul's and Peter, or what Luke's writing about in, in Acts right here. Um, and now, Lord, consider their threats and grant your servant may speak your words with all boldness while you stretch out your hand for healing and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. That's why I'm saying the, the signs are going back up that are pointing in the right directions and the wondrous knowledge of who we are in God is welling up in us in ways that <clears throat> are both painful and um, enlightening and, and um, strengthening. So we're healing. We're, we're slowly getting healed. Um, and that's part of this sanctification process where the more you push in, the more you'll get out. So thanks for being here and listening because um, it's not it's not all for me. It's a lot of this is aimed at anyone who's willing to um, understand and they're actually interested in understanding who they are in the Lord and working towards that those goals. Um, let me continue. Verse 31, Acts chapter 4. When they had prayed, the place where they were assembled was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak the Word of God boldly. So hopefully some of you are um, getting the ability. You all right? Take it slow, honey, okay? This one can be very ab abusive, and so I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it to Thursday. Get the fuck out of here. So anyway, they began to speak the word of God boldly. All things in common. Um, now the entire group of those who believed were of one heart and mind. And no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but instead they held everything in common. With great power, the apostles were giving testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was on all of them. So what's grace? It's not fucking Tony Baloney tries to say it's, oh, you got a five-day grace period from your rant. You have a short, grace means you have a short period of time before you're going to have to Straighten your act out and stop sinning. Dumb as a fucking rock. Dumb as a fucking rock. Grace, biblical grace is undeserved favor. We don't deserve any of anything good. We're, we're dirty, rotten, sinful, fleshy, carnal pieces of shit. The sooner you get that through your head, the easier it is to understand the Bible. If you think you're something, if you think this is something, you are fucking out of your mind. You're deluded. You're insane. So when it says, let me read it again. I don't know why we have to go so slow on these things because there's people out there that are just not very smart. They don't know the Bible. Um... who claimed that any of the possessions was his own, but instead they held everything in common with great power. The apostles were giving testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was on all of them. So this sanctification process that I keep talking about, this is going to be a major theme of the new covenant 
And that's why these idiots, these devils talk about grace in such sophomoric, idiotic, imbecilic ways because they just, they don't understand. They don't have the Holy Spirit. This is the whole book. This whole story is how the Holy Spirit works through a man or men or saints or angels or spiritual beings on a higher vibrational level. Do you understand? <sighs> For there was not a needy person among them because all those who owned lands or houses sold them, bought the proceeds of what was sold and laid them at the apostles' feet. This was then distributed to each person as any had need. Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus by birth, the one the apostles called Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement. Swakia. Joseph, son of encouragement. Let's be encouraged, people. That we're going to, we're, this isn't our home. We have to st stay together. I'm with you in spirit. We're together in spirit. Moto X, Cindy Cromarty, um, Sackcloth Prophet, <laughs> Ahmad Gabar, Jake Jake. Joseph, a Levite, whose name Barnabas was translated son of encouragement, sold a field he owned, brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. And then it goes into the story of Ananias. Um, I guess I could read it. Um, you know the story. He held back. <laughs> he was greedy. Um, but a man named Ananias with his wife Saph Sapphira sold a piece of property. However, he kept back part of the proceeds with his wife's knowledge and brought a portion of it and laid it at the apostles' feet. Ananias, Peter said, Why has Satan filled your heart and to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the proceeds of the land? Wasn't it yours while you possessed it? And after it was sold, wasn't it at your disposal? Why is it that you planned this? This thing in your heart. You have not lied to people, but to God. God sees everything we do. Hold on. You have not lied to the people, but to God. When he heard these words, Ananias dropped dead, and a great fear came on all the people who heard. The young man got up, wrapped his body, and carried him out and buried him. These are the verses that should scare the fuck out of people who are talking nonsense like Tony Williams and some of these other wicked niggas like GMS and Sakari, these guys. They're holding back, especially if they know better. It's one thing to be an ignorant idiot like Tony Williams that won't listen. Arrogant, ignorant, stubborn, dumbass. But then there's people like Joel Osteen and, and Joyce Myers. They're, 
they're they're doing the Bible for money. If you're on a channel, no matter how good the person is, be careful. I mean, I would rather have 2,000 subscribers and 80 good listeners. I don't need no money. I'd like to be able to go live. That way I could interact with you guys more. I'm not going to go on the comment boards and waste my time typing this and that. I have things to do in my life. Um, I go on the comment boards of other people's channels to tell them this, that. I'll, I'll spend maybe a half hour a day typing something. And that's about it. Part of it's just typing for my videos. The, the title, this and that. So anyway, let me continue. And three hours later, his wife, Sapphira, came in not knowing what had happened. Tell me, Peter asked. Did you sell the land for this price? Yes, she said, for that price. These fucking people yell. These people fucking yell. Can you hear her yelling out there? They don't know how to they don't know how to use their indoor voice. There's no indoor voice. It drives me nuts. Then Peter said to her, Why did you agree to test the spirit of the Lord? See, when I when I look at Tony Williams and I look at GMS, um, anyone who's Not coming to this with a whole heart for God, uh, a belief in the Holy Spirit, a belief that the Lord is going to reward you for your bullshit. See, I'm very careful. It might not be the most sensationalist. It may not be the most interesting. It may not be the most, ooh, ah. Oh. People love to hear people push their nonsense on them. People love it. From what I can tell. And then, of course, there's people that are way too soft, too. Um, J.P. Dudamus Lodge. He's getting better. Because I, I told him, dude, you need to start teaching the Bible and stop. Ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies. Disgusting. But he's getting better. He's getting a lot better. J.P. Dunamis Lodge. He'll come up. He's a big guy with a beard. Um, and that's what this passage is talking about. How, um, do you have anything to say about God? Do you have anything to say about Jesus? Are you really talking about what this book is saying? Or are you just twisting it to fit your cuckoo vein imagination and things that you heard and, and things that you want to be, I want to be. I want to be this guy. I want to be the guy. Believe me, you don't want to. You don't want my job. You don't want to be a prophet. You do not. Some of you have those giftings, and you know what I mean. Some of you are Israel. You know what I'm talking about. Chosen, chosen for what? Uh -huh. So, um, is it nine o'clock yet? why do you test the Lord look the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out instantly she dropped dead at his feet when the young men came in they found her dead and carried her out and buried her beside her husband then great fear came on the whole church and on all who heard these things So why do you want to be careful about who you listen to? Because if you're not with these people, 
if you're not with this group, one mind, one heart, one spirit, one God, one love, you're as good as dead. You better hope, Grace. You better hope for undeserved favor, Tony Williams, you dumb motherfucker, man. I probably knew more about the Bible when I was 18 years old than this man knows at 42 or however old he is. But I waited till I was 50, 60 years old, 59 years old to actually feel like I had enough knowledge, wisdom, and ability to teach. Why? Why did I wait that long? Why? Because I was waiting till I felt like I wasn't going to fuck myself. Speaking on this book, people think it's a game. It's not a game. Verse 12, Acts chapter 5 we're in now. Apostles apostolic signs and wonders and then I'm going to close out and I'm going to go about my Christmas Eve whatever verse 12 many signs and wonders were being done among the people through the hands of the apostles they were all together in Solomon's colonnade they were all together on Solomon's porch they were all together Outside the temple, they were all together in Jerusalem. They were all together. Do you see what I'm saying about we're better together? There is no not together. Either you're in or you're out. There's a lot of people walking on top of the fence. And when that wind comes, that strong wind of the Spirit, like it said back here, Still in, still in the book of Acts. I will pour out my spirit on all people. That's the spirit of judgment, people. That's where we're at. We're, people are getting blown off the fence into the dark side of the wall. They're getting blown. They're getting blown, blown away by their own stupidity, their own ignorance, their own arrogance, their own telling you man the spirit is not <clears throat> the spirit of god is no joke and for people to to handle this bible so with such uh, lack of respect <clears throat> so they were all together on solomon's colon colonnade that means they're on jesus's porch they're in jesus's land they're on the porch of jesus's house solomon is jesus that's the son of David. Get it through your head in the regeneration. Solomon is the wisest man. He is the son of David. He is Jesus Christ. So they're, he's on, they're on Solomon's porch. No one else dared to join them, but the people spoke well of them. <laughs> no one dared? No one dared to join them? You guys have courage. Come over here with me. Come on, sir. Um, no one else dared to join them, but the people spoke well of them. Believers were added to the Lord in increasing numbers. Multitudes of both men and women. Why is it so slow now? Why? Hopefully these people that are learning the wrong stuff, the Lord loves them anyway. Hopefully, I'm hoping that's what it is. And we're just a higher standard. We're, we're just a higher type. We, we have a better, we have a better promise is all. They're going to be saved, but we have a better promise because we're at a different level. Um, 
As a, as a result, they would carry the sick out into the streets and lay them on cots and mats so that when Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on them, on some of them. Do you understand what I'm saying about when I walk in this world? People, people are attracted to me. Their eye turns towards me. They're, they like to touch me. I'm a healing spirit. Some of you have already felt that in your life. You're like, man, my life has changed since I listened to J.D. Nyjah. Some of you are listening every day religiously because you felt the power. It's Our frequency matches and it's, it's pumping you up. There's not a lot that can get this frequency. But some of you are like, I can't wait to just hear him ramble about the Bible. I know it because sometimes I download a video and an hour passes and I have eight, somewhere between six and ten views. And these are you people. I don't know exactly which ones you are, but you know who you are because you're, you're like, I can't wait to get, get my spirit stirred up. That's what I do. I stir it up, little darling, stir it up. Let me continue and then I'm going to close out. Let me see what I got. I'm done. Um, let me finish this passage and then in and out of prison will be the next one. In addition, a multitude came together from the town surrounding Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those who were tormented by unclean spirits, and they were all healed. Some people like being sick. They like being victims. That's why they listen to GMS and Tony Baloney and these type of, of idiots. They like being sick. They like being a victim. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. I love you guys. Till tomorrow, I'm out.